Hola, buenos días. Yo soy Raiza y aquí estoy con mi amiga Aide. Y hoy vamos a, a contarle un cuento, Bill and the Beast. Bill and his father lived in a small cottage outside of town. They were known of their pie, for their pies. Bill's father grew wonderful apple trees behind their cottage. The apple trees back a brick, brick wall, and on the other side grew more apple trees. These trees were greener and taller and grew apples so sweet you could smell them from Bill's window. But the apples belonged to a giant beast that lived in the cottage on the other side of the brick wall. And it was forbidden to enter the orchard of the beast. One day, Bill's father didn't collect enough apples from his trees. He quietly snuck through a hole in the brick wall. He picked apples all afternoon. By the time he filled two baskets, the sun had set beyond the mountain, and only a silver of light stretched across the orchard. He tried to hurry home, but couldn't find the opening in the wall. Then from behind it came a terrible roar. The giant beast captured him and locked him away in the house beyond the brick wall and the apple trees. For days, Bill wondered where his father had disappeared to. In the past, he had left town to visit with far off friends and family, but never without saying goodbye. One night, Bill overheard a rumor in town that his father had been captured by the beast of the local legend. He decided that very moment at the first light the next day, he would head over the brick wall and save his father. And so he did. He found the hole and upon entering the orchard, found his father's baskets, apples scattered everywhere. He quietly crept up to the house and what did he see? His father was digging a well. What are you doing here? Growled a voice from behind Bill. Startled, Bill answered, I came to save my father. Your father lives here and does my bidding now. Leave this place. I will not. Why not? What does he matter to you? My father is my friend. He is my partner, my teammate. We work together to make our life. We clean to our house together. We work in the orchard together. We make pies to sell in town together. You have to learn to work alone, snarl the beast. I will not. The jobs are easier as a team. I need my father and he needs me. Can't you see I need him to dig this well for me? Bill didn't know what to do. He couldn't overcome the beast and he couldn't leave his father. I have an idea, exclaimed Bill. It better be good, growled the beast. Well, do it together. Like I said, everything is easier if it's done as a team. So they began to work on the well. At first, the beast wasn't sure what to do. But as they worked harder and things made progress as a team, the beast easily found building the well to be fun and no longer such a chore. While the sun once again began to tuck behind the mountains, the beast, Bill, and his father finished the well to celebrate their hard work. Bill poured fresh water from the well for them to enjoy after all their hard work together. As the beasts drank heavily, the bounty of working together, something happened. Poop, the, girl, the beast turned into a girl. Bill's father laughed. I guess teamwork does pay off. It feels good to be me again, to be Beatrice. I guess being selfish, bossy beast isn't the best after all. Together they picked apples, made pies, and always stayed a team. The end. Pues, este fue nuestro cuento para ustedes. Ojalá que ustedes los disfruten. Y fue un placer de, de contarles este cuento. Y le veo la próxima vez. Thank you, good stuff.